Welcome back to Finland and its capital Helsinki. And it's here, of course, where tomorrow the world's two most powerful strongmen, Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin, will meet in a summit. President Trump is already on his way. He left Scotland an hour or so ago on Air Force One. Vladimir Putin will fly in a bit later. Of course, he has the uh, World Cup final to attend. So what can he, we expect? Joining me now is Alpul Rusi, a former advisor to the president of Finland. And uh, very good evening to you, Mr. Rusi. Good evening. Um, First of all, tell me why Finland is an appropriate place, why this was chosen for this summit. Well, have a look at the city. It's uh, hot weather. <laughs> yeah, so I can the imagine same, how Donald same, Trump will Same describe. thing was in 1975. 1997 was not that way, of course, because it was in March. Uh, so that uh, we have been lucky to have good weather. But I think the logistical matter issues uh, uh, play a role uh, and political issues play a role uh, to find Finland as a suitable place for meetings. Well, non the leaders. A non-NATO country, first of all, I suppose. Uh, today uh, we don't emphasize that so much, uh, but it may play a role. I cannot answer to that question. And in terms of the organization, it all seems to have happened uh, very quickly. So was that, I mean, difficult oh. for, for Finland, for Helsinki to organize, and also in terms of the issues that are yes. going to be raised to get yes. the agenda? Yes, true. Uh, it is uh, too short period for preparations so that this is uh, more or less like a meeting between these two leaders who wanted to meet each other and they wanted to sort out what kind of agenda they would have in the future to continue or to have a break they will now test each other's uh, let's say skills and 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 uh, interests what's your sense of um, who might be the the better negotiator we know who thinks he's the best negotiator yeah. but of course President Putin has yeah. years of experience yeah. and, uh, and such a wily operator on so yeah. many levels. Oh, that's, that's a big issue, of course. Uh, one is experienced in business, another one in, in KGB and, and uh, uh, political games. And the Russian political life is certainly a special game. So that they say that politics is best business in Russia, who knows? But I mean that they are different type of personalities. So what about the issues? Let's run through some of yeah. them. Uh, Ukraine and the yeah. annexation of, of Crimea, uh, one of the, the yes. big points on the agenda. It is not an easy summit at all. It is a very difficult summit. We don't know the results. We may know the results in the future, some five years, something like that. But we can also have a chance for surprises, like in Reykjavik, you remember. 1986. Uh, who knows if they uh, if they want to launch a meaningful process of uh, nuclear reductions? They can. They have this forum available for that now. It's up to them. Presumably, Finland does not want to see an emboldened Russia, though. I mean, given your long history yeah, and your yeah. your long shared border with Russia, just just give the the British audience some sense of how that relationship has been, particularly over the last few years? It has been always a little bit uh, tense. It is uh, so-called friendly relations, but on the one hand. On the other hand, we know Finlandization. It is also a reality of life that Finland was under pressure, under political pressure. But we managed to survive one thing. Another thing is that we have to see our past openly and offer, you know, speak the truth, not not pretending the truth. So that uh, it is difficult relationship, but we have managed to, to maintain stability. We have managed to maintain a trade. And even the collapse of the Soviet Union was not necessarily the end of the world for Finland, but uh, opening a new new opportunities. But are there concerns within Finland, particularly this issue yeah. of NATO, you say not formally a member, but of course oh, yeah. they're under the, uh, the defensive umbrella, I suppose. Are there concerns within Finland that Donald Trump may, may weaken the association between the United States and NATO? Because he's already signaled yeah. of that, of course, very, in Brussels. Very, very good question and very important for us too. They should not, they should not cut deals over our heads. Uh, it is quite clear that, for instance, freezing of NATO enlargement would be a setback for European security as such. Another matter could be, for instance, that uh, if, if Crimea is something uh, that is trade, uh, subject of trading, 
is, is not good for Europe either. So that they, they have difficult issues, they should tackle it, uh, these issues, also taking into consideration the European Union, NATO and countries that are there between, like Finland. Alpa Rossi, thank you very much indeed. Uh, very good to talk to you. Very good to get uh, the Finnish view here. That's Alpa Rossi, who was uh, a former advisor to the president of Finland. And